Hello, Exchange Beauty Tribe. Welcome to another incredible beauty live. I am your host, Emily. And like every show, I'm always excited to bring another exciting brand to you. Today, we have a brand that we have not talked about on Beauty Live. And I'm really, really excited to talk about that because their foundation is my absolute favorite. And I know um, that our guest today is going to explain exactly why that is. So with me today, we have Isadora from Milani. How are you, Isadora? Hi, everyone. I'm great, Emily. Thank you for having me in Hi Beauty Tribe. I'm, I'm so excited to get ready with you guys, get ready with me, get ready with Milani. Um, and I'm so happy to be here. We're so excited to have you here and it means so much and um, everyone watching at home, we're so excited you're here um, and you guys, if uh, you come and watch every week, you know what to do. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends to start your own uh, live watch party. If you have any questions for Isadora, please drop them into the chat. We will get to as many as we can um, before the show is over. Um, and if you love Milani, we want to know why and what your favorite products are. Please share that with us. And also let us know where you're viewing from. Um, and I'm all about because weather is changing right now. So let us know what the weather's like. I'm in Dallas, it's 80 degrees, which of course, like I think it's gonna get to 40 tomorrow. So that's Texas for you. So love to hear where you guys are coming from. Um, and we are gonna get ready with Isadora and I want everyone to just take a moment to look at Isadora and her beautiful, gorgeous, fresh skin. Beautiful, and I cannot wait to see like what you have in store and all these products. So enough about me, Isadora, it's all you now. Hey, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put on my headband and put this hair back. I have my little Milani headband. And first off, I'm so glad that you said like, what's the weather like? What it, What is everyone experiencing right now? Cause that really is going to determine how you prep your skin. Because I know if it's dry and cold, I need something hydrating. And if it's super hot and my face is greasy, I need something that's mattifying. So that kind of brings us perfectly <laughs> into complexion. So kind of like what Emily mentioned, our holy grail fan favorite product is our Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Not only does this foundation work as an amazing medium to full coverage natural matte foundation, it's amazing for spot concealing as well. I feel like this is like the one and done. You can do anything with this. And my favorite part is how flexible the formula is. So for example, if you just want a medium to full coverage natural matte look, go straight in with the foundation. But what I like to do is I like to tweak it a little bit and I like to make it my own. So for example, if you wanted to make your own DIY skin tint, you could mix a little bit of Conceal and Perfect and a little bit of SPF BFF. And then you have a lightweight SPF 30 skin tint. If you're a little bit on the oilier side, so right now if it's 80 degrees and you're in Dallas, <laughs> You might want to be going in with the no pore zone primer. So this is going to be more of a silicone based primer that helps blur. It helps mattify and it's really beautiful under the foundation. And then if you're on the drier side, I would really recommend our skin quench primer. And all of these primers are formulated with amazing ingredients. So this, for example, has hyaluronic acid and coconut water. The no pore zone has lily and bamboo extracts. And then my personal fave, which is what I am going to use today, is the Bright Side Primer. This has vitamin C and pro-vitamin B5. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to alter the foundation a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this Bright Side Primer on the back of my hand. And it is illuminating, but it's not shimmery. I think that sometimes I get a little bit nervous that if something is illuminating, that I'm going to look like like a glitter, like a big shiny star. <laughs> exactly. Like I'm a disco ball. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit. I do like about half a pump and I'm going to mix it with the bright side primer to kind of make my own, I guess you could call it like a skin tint if you will. Um, cause I like to wear it a little, I like to wear it more that way. Um, so then I'm just going to go in and apply it first of all, directly on my face, and then I'll go in with a brush, but you can just blend it with your hands. If you prefer to use a sponge, I love using my hands. I think that your hands are actually like one of the best tools that you can use. And then I'm just going to mix it all in. Emily, what shade of the foundation do you wear? So I wear the zero two a, I, I put quite a bit of bronzer on today. So a little bit darker, but this is my true one. I 
love, like you hit it right on the nail, Isadora, like why I love this so much. Um, I wake up with some redness on my face. Um, and this is like, it never happened. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to use it after I put it on as a skin tin. I'm going to use it to spot conceal. Cause I get redness around my nose, like clockwork. And I don't know what's ever going to calm it down. And I get also like really, I have like veiny eyelids. I don't know if that's, um, <laughs> the healing to say, but it's just the truth. So I, what I love about this foundation is like, I can use it how I want and I can dial it up or dial it down however I need to. So just blending it in to be more of like a light coverage skin tint. And then I'm going to go in and spot conceal. So then I'm going to separately take O2A, which I think is the shade that you said you were using. Oh, look at yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put it where I need it. So that way kind of that more full coverage look is more targeted. So yeah. How do you use it? Do you use it just all over? Have you mixed it before? So I was going to say, never heard about mixing the two before. Yeah. So I like that idea when you're going for like not a full coverage look. Um, I am a full coverage girl. Um, some of you guys know here with the beauty tribe, I am covered in freckles um, and I do like to cover them. And this does, and if you have freckles at home, love them. It's just me. It's just my freckles for some reason, but, um, this does the job. So I like it. So I use it straight on cause I like the full coverage and then I'll come back and do a little bit more under my eyes to look like I actually got eight hours of sleep. Literally <laughs> me right now. In the <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. Perfect. I love that everyone uses it differently too. Cause it just shows how versatile it is. Um, so yeah, so this is how I'm going to leave my base. I think that this works for me. I have, I have the coverage level that I want and need, and I'm ready to move on to the next step. But let me know if anyone has any questions on the foundation that I can answer while we're here. Just so everyone is just loving the idea of mixing the primer with the foundation. And I do what I something I learned new about Milani is I did not realize that there's different types to cater to either the look or your skin. Um, no pore zone is like my go-to, but you're right. This is illuminating, but not disco ball illuminating. Uh, yes. <laughs> illuminating. So, yeah. but if you don't want to mix, right, someone can start off with just this and yeah. then the foundation or even wear this by itself. 100%. And what's really nice about this is that a lot of primers might have like a white consistency. First of all, our skin quench primer is a lotion like texture, but it will not leave any white cast on your face. Same with the BF, SPF BFF. But what's nice about this illuminating primer is it has a little bit of a tint to it. Nothing that's going to alter your complexion, but it really works well on all skin types and it just blurs and helps glow. So you, I mean, they're designed to be used under foundation, but you can also wear them alone, especially the SPF BFF. Ooh. If you just want to use the SPF BFF by itself and you're going to the farmer's market or you're going out with your girls and you just want a little sunscreen, you can use them on their own. They're great. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. So next we're going to continue with complexion, which I'm really excited about. And we're actually going to talk about make it last setting spray. So I feel like make it last setting spray is a big gateway product for Milani to a lot of people. If you know Milani, you know, our setting spray. So first off we have our make it last original setting spray. So this is going to leave a natural finish on the face. It's actually such a fan favorite that we retested the 16 hour claims and found out that the existing formula has 24 hours of wear time. So instead of 16, you can wear your makeup look for 24 hours. If you're, if you're doing an all day affair, Milani's got your back. And this formula is also created with glycerin and niacinamide. So you'll find with a lot of our products that we have some skin loving ingredients, which for me, someone who I really do care about my skin and how my makeup impacts my skin, it's a big win. Um, if you are on the drier side, I would definitely recommend make it last dewy. This is going to hydrate, it's going to illuminate, and it's really going to lock in that moisture. And if you are more on the oily side and you need to kind of mattify, we have Make It Last Matte. And this actually has micro fine charcoal powder that helps 
mattify the skin, which is so amazing. So just a pro tip, if you're ever using the mat, make sure you mix it up because there is real charcoal in here. I like to even slap it a little bit on the bottom to make sure that it mixes. And then when you do spray it, it'll be completely clear, transparent on the skin and just keep your look on lock. And then last but not least, I feel like this is perfect for that sunny 80 degree weather. We have make it last SPF. So this is going to have SPF 30, which is amazing. I think, you know, we're always told that you have to reapply your SPF throughout the day. And it's kind of hard to do that when you're wearing makeup and you're on the go. So SPF 30 is great to keep with you, but for this purpose, I'm going to use the original. And so that's going to keep the foundation from sweating off or anything like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Foundation. Awesome. And also like, I don't know about you guys. I also, you know, get oily eyelids. So it helps keep your eye look on lock. So even if you want to go in after your eye look and respray, you're more than welcome to also kind of a pro tip. If you're ever working with a shimmery shadow, it's really great if you spray your brush with make it last setting spray and dip into that shimmery formula because it really just helps the pigment and it helps it stay on your eyes a little bit longer. It almost kind of transforms it into like a gel or a cream shadow. So that's a little hack with setting spray too. So I'm a big setting spray girl. Yeah, um, no, that's a great tip. Yeah, and then we're gonna get into blush. So blush is for me, maybe my favorite part of my makeup routine. Um, and I'm going to show you two different formulas. So first off, we have our rose powder blush and it is called our rose powder blush because it has that gorgeous signature rose indentation. And this formula is going to be on the matte side. So it's not going to have any pearl. It's not going to have any shimmer. On the other hand, we have our baked blush, which is another Milani gateway product. And these are the most amazing, luxurious formulas. I'm obsessed. I can't do my makeup without them. This is in the shade Luminoso, which is kind of our cult classic. It's a peachy pink. And then we have Dolce Pink, which is just that gorgeous, straight up pink shade that I think everyone's been loving right now. So I think for the sake of this, I'll try, I'm like Luminoso or Dolce Pink. What are we feeling? Hmm. Let's go with Luminoso. Let's show you guys why everyone loves it so much. And these formulas are ultra pigmented. They are actually baked in Italy on Italian terracotta tiles. So it is so buttery, so gorgeous and leaves the perfect finish. I, am I love that. So when you're applying, because we, we get this question because yeah. I know that there's different ways to apply blush. So oh. do you recommend, like, should we stay just with the apple or should we work oh. it up or yeah. how, how do we apply it? I, yeah. like, I like any way, honestly. And I only say that because there's a different outcome with, with each application. So with baked blush, I love putting it on the high points of my face, like you mentioned, because it is a glowier formula and it almost kind of doubles as a blush and a highlighter. But if you want those kind of like kind of thick, gorgeous cheeks, I would do the apples of your cheeks. So me personally, I'm more focused on the high points, but I never shy away from the apples. I don't think it's a like, and, or, I think it just depends on the look that you're trying to go for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you do? How do you apply your blush? I do exactly like that. I like to hit the high points to make, I'm getting older and I feel like my face is kind of going down. So I'll do anything to make it go back up. So I, yeah. I yes. So I like going up that way, but I love the apples as well. I know that people do that style too, um, but it's always fun to know how people apply blush because I didn't realize that there's so many different ways to apply everything. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and what's so fun, like even, I think that this was a big trend last summer, but I'm, I'm all about bringing it back. It's like even putting some on your nose to give you that kind of sunburnt blush look. So I'll do like yes. a little Yes. Oh, yeah. No, I love it. I look like, like you spend time outside. Exactly. And even like, I like to mix my blush. Like if you, if you put bronzer on, which like you're a bronzed goddess right now. So you're probably, <laughs> I like to put my blush, like just a little bit on the temples too, just because it kind of blends in with whatever bronzer and powder that you have. And it just warms up the face all around. So this is Luminoso. See, it kind of has that beautiful. Glow. I yeah. love it. I'm obsessed. If you walk away with one thing 
from this video, it's you need baked blush like yesterday. <laughs> it's so good. I love that it doubles as the highlighter too. Yeah. That's awesome. It's amazing. And some of the shades also have a bronzier tone. So if you're like, I need a bronzer blush and highlighter, like you need to go check out all of the shades. Cause you'll, you'll find something that you'll love. And we are dropping those links in the chat. So it's very easy to click right on the product. It'll take you right to um, shopmyexchange.com. They're also available um, in your local exchanges, select stores. So check that out um, as well and get a hold of these because these are just like incredible colors. And that Luminoso is gorgeous, <laughs> like 10, 10. I'm so glad that you feel that way. I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan of the baked blush. Um, <laughs> and now we're going to go to brow. So for brows, we're going to use the precision brow pencil. I'm going to be using the shade medium brown. If you're looking for a micro fine brow pencil, that's going to essentially create hair like strokes. This is going to be your, your match. So what I love to do with precision brow is just lightly scroll it up. You don't need to scroll it up too high. And I like to just kind of fill in the sparse areas of my brow, which for me is the ends of my eyebrow. So I'm just going to kind of gently fill it in and kind of lightly create these hair like strokes. And I just really do it on the end. For me, it's not about making my brows thicker. It's just about making sure that they look even. And I love that. And I like that uh, it has the, the brush, the on, the brush on the other side. Yes, because my my eyebrows go crazy. So it's nice to have a two in one. <laughs> right. I, I love it, too. So, yes, it is dual ended. We have a spoolie on the other side, which is great for one. It's great for kind of brushing out that line that you just created to make sure that it doesn't look as harsh. But then it's also just great for brushing up your brows and just overall maintenance. So. Yeah, I love to kind of use that as like my last step just to make sure everything is fluffed, everything looks great. So that's how I use Precision Brow. Love that. And it still says, it still stays extremely natural, which is, yeah. is the look I, I, I like. I mean, to each their own, that's what's great about makeup. But this gives just a super natural look. Yeah. For sure. and I mean, if you want more of a thick, full brow, you just, I would say apply more pressure and then just, you know, apply it more generously than you would if you were just doing something a little more on the natural side. So it's really a versatile product and I love it. Um, and next, if we're ready, I think we can move on to the eyes. Yes, I love this freaking palette, Isadora. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, okay. So I feel like I'm the kind of girl who I just get ready and I'm like throwing bronzer in my crease. So this feels like that elevated, like I'm actually using a palette that has shades that I would want to use every day, whether you're kind of like a natural eye makeup girl, or you want to build it up to something really smoky. This gilded mini eyeshadow palette and whiskey business is super versatile. So it has six matte shades. We have other shades of the Gilded Minis that have shimmers and metallics, but this one is really great for every day, which is why we wanted to feature it. So me to start, I like to go in with a shade, which is kind of like the second from the left, something very transitional that I can use just kind of right in my crease. I'm going to hold up my mirror and I just start like to start blending it out just right in that center crease. And I just like to use it as my transition shade. And then if I want to add something a little deeper or a little lighter, I can add that as I need. So just going in with that second shade from the left and applying it right into my crease. But yeah, I think this palette is so great for an everyday makeup look. And what's nice too is it's the Gilded Mini, so you can take it on the go with you. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I need 10 different eyeshadow palettes to travel. It's the perfect traveling palette. Yeah, and it's super slim and it's it fits in your handbag if you need touch up on your eyes throughout the day too, which I love. I just love the colors because you know, if you ever, I mean, I feel like we've all been there, right? You get an eye palette that you'd use every color, but there's always that one color that you will never use. Never. 
yeah. this is not, this is not this palette. Like I would use, and I have used every single color on this palette. There's no random, you know, color. They all flow together and you can make different looks with it. So yes, love it. hundred percent. Oh my God. I, I love that you said that because it's really so true. I feel the same way about it. <laughs> Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the same brush and I'm going to work with a deeper shade just to kind of deepen that outer corner. So that's kind of how I like to do like an everyday smoky eye. So I'm actually going to take the second shade now from the right and just lightly take that just in the outer V of the eye, just to add a little bit of depth. And then just keep blending. I feel like if you're working on a look and you're like, oh my gosh, I applied too much, just keep blending. Amazing. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions about eye makeup, the eyeshadow palette, how to best apply? We have a lot of love for the Luminoso um, and like love, love, love all of this obsessed. It's my everyday blush. Love it. Luminoso is top tier. Um, okay. Emily says, um, great name by the way, Emily. Um, and so for, so someone's asking for more of a smoky look. Yeah. So are, do they focus with the dark color in the crease similar to like what you're doing, right? Yeah. So I would still put something like this in your crease just as a transitional color. But the best part is you can just start going in with these shades to deepen up the look. So you can put this in your crease. You can put these kinds of later shades in your deeper V. And I say later, like the ends of the palette the, as, as it goes a little deeper. And then what I'm going to do and how I kind of do my smoky eye is I'll take a flatter brush and I'll dip into the dark colors and I'll run it along the bottom of my lash line. And I feel like that's the perfect way to create an effortless smoky eye. So I'll actually go in with the second shade from the right. And I tap it off a little bit just so it's not too crazy pigmented. And I'm just going to run it right below my lash line. And just keep building. I think the key is just keep building. I think that you can always add more, but it's harder to, to remove, if you will. And then I just keep building. I love that. And so while you're doing that, someone else had a question. And I don't think like with beauty, fashion, I don't think there's rules. But is there a certain number of colors we should stick to when applying eyeshadow? Like, yeah. should we just focus on two colors or the more the merrier? I'm one of those people, I agree with you. I don't think that there are any rules. I think that you need to do what you need to do to create the look that you're trying to achieve. So if you need to use 10 different colors, use 10 different colors. But if you're like, okay, I want to create a smoky look. I don't want it to be too complicated. I just want to stick to the shades that I need. That's where these kinds of palettes really come in hand because there's only six shades. So you're kind of like, you kind of know the look that you're about to create based on the shades that you're working with. So I don't think that there's any rules. I think you got to do what you got to do to get the look done, right? Exactly. Yes. So just know anything. And if you want to wear a lot of colors, we got six right here. So it's exactly. perfect. And there's a ton of different shades of gilded minis. So we have like a rosier palette. We have something with a little, actually, we have one that has like a black. If you're looking for more of a smoky look, we have the purple wine tone. So what's nice is if you're like, okay, I want to create a neutral brown smoky eye, you know, to grab whiskey business. And if you want to create a different look, there's a different palette for it. So that's also what I love about these. So I do love that. That's awesome. That, and that's good to know. And remember, shopmyexchange.com or in your stores um, and, and get your color to match with your style because that's what's great too with beauty, right? It just goes with your whole vibe. So that is awesome. Yeah. And I, this is personally for me, how I want to leave my smoky eye. I wanted to keep it kind of neutral and light on the top. I just kind of deepened that outer section, but I really wanted to smoke out the bottom. I think that that's what gives you that kind of wow deep factor is how well you smoke it out on the bottom and just take your time blending. I think that that's the key to a smoky eye is just keep blending, 
you know, until you feel like it all kind of blends together. Yeah. I love that. Um, and anyone back um, at home watching this, and you just tuned in, we're discussing Milani, we're doing to get ready with me with Isadora. Um, and we've gone through the steps. Now we're at eyeshadow. Um, and she is working a smoky eye with the Gilded Mini. This is the whiskey business. Um, so there are a lot of beautiful neutral colors. Uh, this is like my go-to palette. You can find that on shopmyexchange.com, um, also in stores. And I hate to say this, Isadora, um, oh but it is November. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that means the holidays are are upon us yeah. so if you have someone that is just like a beauty fiend at home I mean these make excellent gifts as well all of it so yeah. dare I even talk about the holidays but we are here we have arrived <laughs> yeah, like, I'm telling you it's gonna feel like next week so you really <laughs> should start shopping now seriously because that's always me I'm like okay I have time it's the beginning of November <laughs> And then before I know it, I'll be like, okay, um, I have no gifts for anyone and I need to go run and shop. Right. So, yeah. yeah exactly. And these are just great. These would make great stocking stuffers. Um, great to make a whole little gift bag, um, put it in a cute little cosmetic bag. We sell those too, shopmyexchange.com. Um, and just yeah. make a whole little beauty set um, for everyone. These are great go-to everyday items. So I love it. I, I mean, I'll take it as a Christmas present. I would love it. As a makeup lover, I'm like, this is my Christmas holiday dream. So <laughs> I love it. And then I feel like this kinds of seg this segues us into the perfect stocking stuffers, which are lippies. So we have two different formulas here for you. We have color fetish balm lipstick, and then we have color fetish matte lipstick. And I know what you're thinking. How can you tell the difference? The balm has that black ring and then the matte has that gold ring. So I'm gonna just show you the difference between these formulas and how they look. So this is Color Fetish Balm in the shade Tied Up, which is a really great kind of brownie caramel nude. And then we have the shade Nylon. And what's so great about these formulas is that it really is like a balm gloss lipstick in one. It's very one and done. And it's made with an 85% blend of natural oils. So it really is going to be hydrating and it really speaks to that balm name. And then we have our Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks. These are my two personal favorite shades. This is Tease, which is a great nude. I think no matter what your skin tone is, it just really depends on how you line your lips, but this shade is amazing. And then we have, I would say one of our best sellers. This is the shade Secret. It is the perfect pinky nude. So I love both of these formulas so much. I think that they're both amazing for the lips. This formula has hyaluronic acid. This formula has an 85% blend of natural oils. So either way, even if it's matte or it's balm, your lips are still getting some love. So yeah. And I love the nylon. Yes. This color, oh my gosh, it's like perfect fall. You can't really see it, but perfect fall lip. And I will, I didn't know what I was about to put on my lips. All I knew is I like, yeah, exactly, like love that color. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised when it felt like I was putting on just the best feeling chapstick in my entire life. <laughs> yes, yes. No, 100%. It feels like you're putting on some kind of balm or chapstick, but then you get this gorgeous flush of color. So I kind of want to know, does everyone want to see the balm formula or do we want to see the matte? Because I'm like, I can't decide. So I need you guys to decide for me. I need let's, the beauty tribe to step in. All right, beauty tribe. Let's see. Do we want to do the matte or the balm? I'm refreshing. Let's see. Almost there, but yeah. So we've got drum roll. We'll do a little bit of a drum roll. Like matte, sure. the matte lipstick. Okay. Okay. The matte, 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 all the mattes. Everyone wants the matte. <laughs> The beauty tribe has spoken. Yes. I'm going to apply the shade Secret. I think that it's a perfect pinky nude. So I'm just going to go in, although 
this is matte. It's not drying at all, which is what I love. Cause I personally get a little nervous that my lips are going to look dried out. Right. You never want that cracky lip look. So this, because of that hyaluronic acid and that buttery formula, you're going to get that matte look, but you're also getting hydration, which is amazing. Yeah. I uh, love it. It looks so good. And then, um, and moisture, especially right. Winter time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think winter is when we kind of pull out the matte lipsticks because, you know, summer you're more using your glosses, your oils, but you know, during the winter time you want to use a matte lip, but your skin's also dry. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the look that you want, but your lips are taken care of. Yeah. And look how gorgeous that color is beauty tribe. I love this shade. I feel like I have this shade with me at all times. This shade in nylon too, of the balm formula. They're mm -hmm. just good. They're so good. Yeah. No, that's a beautiful, and it is. I like that it's, it's pinky, but it can be very neutral too. Like it seems like it can kind of go with any look. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Seriously. Uh -huh. This yeah. is the look, you guys. This is Get Ready with Milani. And if you guys get ready with Milani, make sure to tag us. I want to see all of the looks that you create. But it's really simple. It's really affordable. And you're getting amazing quality products at an affordable price point, which is the best part. It is the best part. So that means when you're out holiday shopping, uh, you can also go ahead and just throw all these amazing things in the basket for yourself too, because you deserve a little treat. Um, we did have a question and earlier when we were talking about um, the sprays and you mentioned niacinamide and we yeah. have someone asking, they hear that that's in a lot of products. What's the importance of that? That name I can't, couldn't even spell, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> niacinamide. So <laughs> yeah, so there was two ingredients, glycerin and niacinamide. So first off, niacinamide is in actually a lot of formulas that help with pores and the looking, the looks of pores. So if you ever use a niacinamide toner, it's probably to help you reduce the look of your pores. So it's essentially just kind of like a complexion perfecter, evens out your skin tone, evens out your pores. And then that other ingredient glycerin is extremely hydrating. I think that we hear about hyaluronic acid a lot, which a lot of our products like the skin quench primer, the color fetish matte lipstick, these have hyaluronic acid, which is so hydrating, but glycerin is a very underrated hydrating ingredient as well. So it's essentially helping perfect your complexion as you're locking in your makeup. I love that. And so, and I know that you use the spray right after the foundation. So once we have like the full look, is this something we could go in and spray on as well? It's not going to yeah. like smudge any of the work that we just did. Yeah, actually that's the perfect. Let me just <laughs> one more time. I really believe in applying your setting spray in layers. So if you're putting on your cream products, you might want to put on a layer of setting spray to lock it in. You put on your powders, lock it in. If you want to lock in your eyeshadow look, go for it. I think that setting spray doesn't need to just be one step. I think that you can layer it to really help solidify all those different layers of makeup that you're putting on to make sure that they stay all day long. That's a really good tip because I kind of always thought that was the last thing you did, but then I noticed that you've been kind of layering it. And then that goes to show beauty tribe, right? There are no rules in yes. beauty, um, but there are helpful tips. And that's a super helpful tip, especially if Right. Because I think it was actually it's happening right now. This is just like raw, but I didn't do spray and my eyeliner is smudging. Like I'm going to be very upfront and honest and real yeah. with you guys. Um, so should have used the setting spray. Yeah. So can go, I, but I don't have to wait until the end to do that. 100% apply it whenever you like, just lock in all of those layers. And if you're using our natural setting spray, you get 24 hours of makeup wear. And then if you're using these other amazing formulas, dewy matte SPF, you're going to get 16 hours of makeup wear, which is amazing. It's all day. Yeah, that is fantastic. Well, Isadora, I want to thank you so much um, for spending time with us today. Um, but before we wrap up, uh, for those that have joined a little later, do you mind, Isadora, just doing a real quick yes. overview of everything you went over today? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
So we started off with complexion. We started with our two-in-one foundation and concealer and spoke to how versatile it is. If you want to wear it alone for a medium full coverage finish, you can, or we have a plethora of amazing primers that can help alter the look. If you want an illuminated complexion, if you're oily and you need mattifying, if you're dry and you need hydrating, we got you. After you apply your base and then, you know, you could do this at the end of your routine, the beginning of your routine, anything prep set. This is our make it last setting spray. That's what we were just talking about. It's a holy grail. It's a fan fave. You have 16 hours of makeup wear with these. With our natural setting spray, you have 24 hours of makeup wear, which is amazing. And then we got into the eyes. So we started off with our precision brow pencil for those kind of natural hair like strokes. We created a really nice neutral smoky eye with the gilded mini eyeshadow palette, which Emily talked about. This is probably the stocking stuffer of the year. I am obsessed with these six shades. And then we have other palettes that are curated, you know, curated for different looks. So if you want more of a rosy tone, warm tone, cool tone, we have the gilded mini palette for you. Uh, we also got into blush. Who doesn't love blush? We talked about rose powder blush if you're looking for something matte. Or if you're looking for a glow, we have our baked blushes. These are amazing. I feel like no matter who you gift them to, they're going to be obsessed. And then last but certainly not least, we have our lippies. So we have our color fetish balm and our color fetish matte lipstick. So for any makeup lover in your life, we have the formula for you. I love that. Thank you so much for that quick overview of all these fantastic products. Um, Shopmyexchange.com or your local stores, head into there, uh, load up on all great things, Milani. These are fantastic price points. Um, so that means, right, like a little bit for you, a little bit for everyone else, great stocking stuffers, great to stuff into gift baskets um, and hand people out for, to hand to people for the holidays. Sorry, I stumbled over my words. I'm just so excited about Milani. Um, but Beauty Tribe, thank you so much for spending time with us today. As I always say, uh, it's 12 o'clock on a Wednesday, central time. You could be anywhere and you've chosen to spend your time with us. And it means the absolute world uh, to myself and Isadora. And Isadora, thank you so much for spending time. You could be anywhere and you've chosen to spend your time with us in the Beauty Tribe today. Um, and giving us so many tips and tricks that I can't wait to use as well. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. It's never goodbye with Beauty Tribe. It's always, we will see you soon, Isadora. Okay, we'll see yeah. you soon. And thank you all for having me. It was a ton of fun. And I love giving the tips and tricks and hearing everyone's questions. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And we will see you back here on Friday for another incredible beauty. Oh, no, we will not. We will see you next week for another uh, amazing beauty try, uh, beauty live. We are going to be um, spending time and reflecting on Veterans Day this weekend um, and thanking all our veterans for their um, service and everything they've done to continue us to have beauty lives and, and live in this amazing country. So we will see you next week for Beauty Live. Until then, have a good weekend. Bye, guys. Bye.